هل سمعتم قصة تحكي مجدا بسماها أم رأيتم شعلة شق في الأفق ضياها هل سمعتم قصة تحكي مجدا بسماها أم رأيتم شعلة شق في الأفق ضياها هم نجوم سطروا أحلى المعاني وبروج شيدوا الهمة فاني أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ربي شرح لي صدري وسر لي أمري وحل لقلة من لساني إفقه قولي فقد قال الله عز وجل في القرآن المجيد بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفا أحد يا الأخة الكرام أحييكم بيت بتحية تحية الجنة السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Brothers and sisters in Islam, who are looking at ITV from all parts of the world, from USA, from Brazil, from Europe, in all parts of the world, welcome to a beautiful topic today, which is called Fake Friends. Humanity and all creatures that dwell in this universe have always had this love for being social, this, this love for, being, for having this companionship each and every day. So, it is said by Nabi Muhammad وسلم, that a human being is likely to behave like how his friends behave. So in life, learn to choose a good friend in a good way. What is the good way of choosing a good friend? Is to look at his daily behavior. Do not just choose a friend because you want to have a friend. Because some friends have satanism. Some friends have got bad behavior in such a way that at the end you get influenced. So the analogy is like, you, can, you visit a person that is selling perfume, for example, and you visit a person that is selling drugs or is smoking cigarettes. You are likely to, to smell uh, cigarettes or those drugs. So basically, it's not good for you to have a friend who does not make you to smell good. So when you visit a person that is selling perfume, you are 100% going to what? To smell perfume. So in, in a nutshell, we should remember that we as Muslims, the main thing that makes us to be true Muslims is to have peace within ourselves, peace with Allah, peace with whatever is near us. So a good friend shimmers hither and thither. Brothers in Islam, and sisters in Islam, and all viewers of ITV, let us look at what Allah says in the Holy Quran, بِاللَّهِ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ In Surah Al-Furqan. أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ بِسْمِ اللَّهِ الرَّحْمَنِ الرَّحِيمِ وَقَدِمْنَا إِلَى مَا عَمِلُوا مِنْ عَمَلٍ فَجْعَلْنَاهُ هَبَاءً مَنْثُورًا And you shall turn to whatever deed they did and you shall make such deeds as scattered floating particles. So Allah is saying, فَجْعَلْنَاهُ هَبَاءً مَنْثُورًا That we shall make such their deeds as scattered floating particles. So brothers in Islam, on the day of judgment, our deeds are going to resonate with what we did on earth. If on earth we're evil, doing wrong things to our fake friends, then we're in, in big trouble. So brothers and sisters in Islam, and all the viewers of ITV who are looking from all parts of the world, a question can be asked, what are fake friends? What are fake friends? Number one, those with no monotheism, those with no guidance, from their Lord, from the Creator, Almighty Allah, Azjal. And those with no Tawheed. So it's very important to understand that Tawheed means monotheism, the oneness of Allah. So these are fake friends. A friend without God is not a good friend. So you, they say, you pray together, we stay together. So how are you going to have a friend who does not pray with you? And number two, hypocrites, or two-faced people, or chameleons, or pretenders. The two-faced people cannot, cannot be good friends. That's why it is said in the hadith, وقال عليه الصلاة والسلام, آتوا منافق ثلاثة. إذا حدث كذبة وإذا وعد أخلفة وإذا أتوا من أخان. That if a, a, a hypocrite, you can see him. That when he speaks, he lies. When he makes a promise, he, he doesn't fulfill the promise. When he, he is actually promises something or is, is given a trust, he doesn't fulfill the trust. Or he doesn't keep the trust. He is always that person that when he's told something and told that you must keep it secret. The person goes around and talking about it. So you as a Muslim must watch out for these three signs of a munafiq or a hypocrite. So never make a, someone who is a hypocrite or someone who gossips other people as your friend. Number three, 
the friends who disappears in hard times. You know, it is said that in hard times you're with me. Now, during my success, I will always be with you. So likewise, if you have a friend who makes sure that when you're having a hard time, he's with you, then that's a good friend. Now, many times you find that when you have a serious problem, some friends, they disappear. They don't even want to see you. So you ask a friend, but I was with you. How come you're neglecting me? So it's happening to so many people that their friends neglect them. So those are called fake friends. And also, the fake friends, they are like gold diggers. They, they actually connive. Sometimes you, con you confide with them. They only want materialistic th things for, from you. They say, people want you only when they benefit. When there is no benefit, they don't want you. So those are fake friends. Those who do not pray, don't have friends from people that who do not pray. If you see that your friend is not praying, try by all means three times or four times to encourage him or her to pray. If he does not change, he keeps on with that norm or that behavior of not praying, then that person does not deserve to be your friend. And corrupt friends, those who follow, who don't follow the sooner. So there are some corrupt friends that don't follow the sun at all. They're cruel, they're, they're rogues, they're desperados, they don't do things right. So these are the people that you should not try by all means to be close to them. Fraudsters, don't ever befriend or have any companionship with a person who is a fraudster. People who commit fraud, they cannot be your friends. Drug addicts, in the society we live in nowadays, you find that some people, they're drug addicts. They're selling drugs. They are top-notch drug lords. So drugs are dangerous in our society. They change the whole complex or the whole system of, of harmony and morality. So an immoral society is fueled by drug abuse. So drug addicts fuel immorality. So stay away from friends that are drug addicts. Gossipers, as I said, if you see your friend is gossiping, that means he also one day will gossip you also. Your friend comes to you and says, no, you see, so-and-so is doing this, so-and-so is doing this. The same friend, when you do something, is going to gossip you with other people. So stay away from such type of people. Those who snitch, snitch it means that people that, 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 that pretend, the last minute, they can change for you. So if they snitch on you or change for you, the last minute, or betray you, people that betray you, stay away from someone that betrays you. Because it's going to betray you many, many, many times. Stay away from that type of person. And in Surah Hujrat, we are told as Muslims to always also be careful of suspecting people and be careful of spying upon people. Allah SWT says in the Holy Quran, بَعْدَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا اجْتَنِبُوا كَثِيرًا مِنَ الظَّنِّ إِنَّ بَعْضَ الظَّنِّ إِثْمٌ وَلَا دَنْيَسَّسُوا وَلَا دَنْيَسَّسُوا وَلَا يَخْتَبْ بَعْذُكُمْ بَعْضًا The meaning of which is, all you who believe in the monotheism of Islam, اجتنبوا كثيرا من الظن. That stay away from what? From suspicion. إن بعض ظن إثم. That some suspicion is what? Is a sin. Because sometimes you find that uh, some people, they have this way of being very suspicious, always. The suspicion goes beyond to say that everyone, they don't trust at all. So we should be mindful to be very careful how we suspect people. Because sometimes someone can come to you and knock the door and you look at the person and say, no, this person is like this. It is said, do not judge a book by its cover. Because the more you suspect a person who is innocent, you are likely to make a mistake. So try to be moderate in the way you suspect any human being. And wala da just so. So a true friend does not, what? They do not just suspect you. And a true friend does not spy on you. So a fake friend always spies on you. And he goes around talking about you. And do not also big bite one another. So the society we're living in, we find friends gossiping each other. At the end, they end up fighting each other. So it's not right for you to pick such type of people to be part of your life. And Allah gives a good example, a great example in the Quran. When he says, that do any one of you wants to eat the flesh of his brother? Fattakullah in Allah tawabur rahim. That do any one of you wants to eat the flesh of his brother? So likewise, 
We should remember that if you backbite your friend, it's like you eating the flesh of a live body. So it's not right for you as a Muslim today, as you're sitting listening to me today, that you pretend to be a good friend. And behind the scenes, you go and backbite your friend. You go and gossip your friend. That is not the way of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Brothers and sisters in Islam, so many friends have been divided due to the fact that they are not united. So true Muslims are united. True Muslims do not gossip each other. Brothers and sisters in Islam, look at yourself as a Muslim. Where are you going today if a friend, you're a friend that backbites his friend? So I'm urging you as you sit there. If you have gossiped your friend, go back to him or her. Tell her, I'm sorry, my friend. I made a huge mistake. I gossiped you. So brothers and sisters in Islam, we're taking a short break. Relax, drink a cappuccino. Do not run away. We're coming back for a beautiful uh, topic which is called Fake Friends. هل سمعتم قصة تحكي مجدا بسماها أم رأيتم شعلة؟ هل سمعتم قصة تحكي مجدا بسماها أم رأيتم شعلة؟ السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Brothers and sisters in Islam, welcome back to a beautiful topic today, which is called fake friends. I know some of the brothers and sisters they're conniving there, they're looking at me and then they're saying, Ah, Sheikh is talking about me. Yes, I'm talking about you. Stop being a fake friend. From today onwards, as you're looking at me right now, stop being a fake friend. Be a real friend. Because Shaitan, Allah, was with of his in us, whispers in the hearts of men. So as you're looking at me, you can be one of those people that have been a hypocrite, that has been a fake friend, that has been conniving to look as though you're a good friend. Stop it today. I know you're looking at me. I'm sorry to point you. Very sorry. Please forgive me. But understand one point, I have to tell you that if you continue being a fake friend, you're only fooling yourself. Because what goes around, what goes around, comes around. So today you harm your friend thinking that you're doing right. You also need that friend one day. So as you're looking at me today, promise me that Sheikh, inshallah, I am going to change. I will stop being a fake friend. Imagine you get a WhatsApp message from your friend or a... a Facebook message. Say, my friend, from today onwards, I'm going to stop being a fake friend. I used to gossip you. I used to big bite you. Now, my friend, I want to be halal. I want to be good. You know, we all like halal meat, uh, Nando's, KFC. We like it. So, be like a friend who is like Nando's. Be a friend who is like KFC. Of course, it's original. Of course, it's fast food, but people love those things. Be a friend that I will love, a friend that I will relate to, a friend who is like good food, food that nourishes, food that makes you to feel good. So don't be a friend who is like food which is not good to eat. So as you sit there, be a friend that is like good food. So how to deal with fake friends? Someone can ask, how do I deal with fake friends, Sheikh? Number one, do not kill or hate fake friends. Do not kill them. Don't hate them. Just ignore fake friends because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made the world to be wasi'ah, to be wide and huge. You always get good and bad people. Number two, keep a distance. As I say, keep a distance. Stay away. That distance that you keep, a person will ask himself, why am I a fake friend? Why am I gossiping my friend? Why am I being uh, two-faced with this human being? Because so many people have been betrayed. You find that friend that you used to love can even call police for you. You find the police, they come to your house. You have heard that you have stolen something. And your friend will say, no, you just look at this and go away. Why? Because shaitan came into that friend and whispered. And your friend allowed shaitan to live or Satan to live with him. So at the end of the day, you find that same friend when you came out of, came out of prison, you say, no, my friend, I'm very sorry. But why you did that first of all? So we've seen so many friends betraying each other because they, it's a fake friendship. You know, there was, there's what they call peer pressure. The, at school, in schools, you find that the students, they befriend wrong people and the students start to smoke cigarettes. When the student becomes a chain smoker, after five, ten years, say, the other one stops smoking. Say, but my friend, you taught me smoking. No, you're not smoking. He said, no, I saw that is dangerous. Why didn't you tell me that is dangerous? No, I was just pretending. It's happening. A friend is smoking so with his friend. After that, he stopped. 
and then his friend is in trouble because of Zol or Dacha or marijuana. Why you didn't tell me that marijuana is dangerous? No, I'm very sorry. I was just pretending. It happens. Friends saying this. So a friend or a real friend must be honest in his words. Must be honest in his words never to lie. And do dawa. Dawa means to propagate. All right? To, for you to deal with fake friends, do dawa to them. Tell them about the reality of Islam. Is Islam is about teaching each other good and bad. It is said in the hadith, خَيْرُكُمْ مَنْ تَعَلَّمَ الْقُرْآنَ وَعَلَّمَهُ The best amongst you is the one who learns the Quran and teaches it. So it's important for you to educate your friends. Never to just leave them like that, say, oh, my friend gonna, is going to be fine. My friend is going to be fine. No. Sometimes you find friends, they, they make each other to stray. So at the end, they start to regret. So it's important for you to tell your friend to love Islam. I have one of my friends, his name is Bilal. Brother Bilal will only discuss about Islam. He will only do things about Islam. So whenever I meet him, I feel Islam. So sometimes you find you meet a friend, maybe that friend you smoke cigarette with him, you just feel cigarette. You meet a friend, maybe you smoke dacha with your friend, you just feel like you are dacha or marijuana. So is that a beneficial friendship? No, it's not beneficial. It's like living in what is called a fool's paradise. A fool's paradise. A fake land. You are living in a fake land. A land with fantasy which is not real. And you, I have a story here of one friend, one brother who was very religious. Then he befriended and confided with a person who is not very religious. At the end, that friend who is not religious started to look at his wife. So you know how these days things are. They started to commu communicate on WhatsApp. So the, what ended up is that that uh, fake friend wa was not a real religious person. Ended up wanting to what? To have a relationship, an illegal or a haram relationship with the wife of his, of his friend who is religious. So how many stories have we had like that? So watch who you befriend. Because you never know what that fake friend is looking for in your yard. You end up even looking at your wife and proposing your wife. So you end up with problems. So this story is not only my story. So many thousands and millions of people have this story. Some friends even ended up robbing their friends, uh, robbing their, their, their money, you know, abusing the, the children of his friends. So we must be careful who we choose as a friend. And also be just. Be just, I mean, have justice. It is said in the Quran, Inna Allah, ya amur bil adl. Allah commands what? With what? With justice. We have a word also in the Quran which is, which is called qist. Qist means to have justice or adl. So justice is very important that if you're dealing with the fake friends, don't just be like one way. Have justice. Don't also create stories. Make sure that whatever you know, you must have solid information that my friend is a real fake friend. So let me keep a distance. And be a good friend also. Don't, don't try, don't uh, practice what you preach. Don't be the holier than thou person. Practice what you preach. The Quran says, Ya ladina amanu, lima taquluna ma la taf'alun. That do not say what you don't do. Practice what you preach each and every day. And also, at the same time, enter in Islam in totality. Ya ladina amanu, khulu fi silmi kafa. Wala tatabu khutuwati shaitan. Inna ulakum adu mubin. All you who believe in the monotheism of Islam, enter in Islam in totality. Be a real Muslim. Because you can't tell me that you, can, you want a nice friend when you're also a fake Muslim. It's like, for example, you say, I want to be a good father. But you have no love. You have no respect. You're cruel. How are you going to be a good father? I want to be a good mother. But you're drinking alcohol. You're smoking cigarettes. You're putting the sniff, whatever, in your tongue, whatever, in the nose. And you're not taking care of yourself. You don't even bath. Just imagine how can you be a mother and you don't even bath. You want to be a father and you don't even bath at all. You want to be a good friend and don't even bath your body. How are you going to be a real friend and you don't even bath? So this is what you must look at. A good friend is like perfume. It shimmers. A good friend is like roses. They shimmer hither and thither. A good friend can even be someone who changes your life. Maybe you are down. That good friend will motivate you, inspire you. So you find that globally, even governments, 
Countries need to be friends of each other. But you find that governments, countries nowadays, they are fake friends. The other countries say, no, I want to be a friend because you got oil. I want to be a friend because I see in your country got diamonds. I want to be a friend because I see in your country everyone is educated. Now, we are only good friends that need us only for benefit. The word benefit here is what only exists in the society we're living nowadays. It's very tough to find a real friend nowadays. Like what Nabi Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi said, a perfume seller brings, brings good smell and, and also good deeds. They, they, they bring for you a fruitful life. So if you want a fruitful life, a life of success, it comes for surrounding yourself with progressive people. You surround yourself with fake friends, then you will be a fake human being. They say in a slang language, Fong Kong. How can you be Fong Kong? Be original. You know, you know, people, they talk about China, that everything is made in China. But China has got three grades of goods. They got the original one, the semi-original, and the fake. The fake one is the Fong Kong. So be on top, this number one. And be what? The original. You find that some people, when they're buying shoes, if it's not original, say, no, I can't buy this fake Fong Kong. This is a slang word these people use in Africa. So as a Muslim, go for original. Have the original friend. Don't go for this third one, the fake friend. So brothers and sisters in Islam, a lover of the sunnah and good deeds. The sunnah, this is the etiquette, the behavior of the Anbiya alayhim salam, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. There was a great paradigm, a great example in Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So look at your nice friend. He's influencing you. You're growing. Your family is growing. Your business is growing. You as a human being, you're growing with intellect. So be inspired, my brother. Be motivated and get a motivator in your life. That's your real friend. So who to behave? Who to keep as a friend? Who do you keep? Keep progressive people in your life. You are good at big company. Keep progressive people. You've been elected. But I don't mean you should vote for me to become the president of Africa, United States of Africa. No, I remain what I am. I remain a speaker of Islam and also a motivator and an inspiration to society. What I'm trying to say here is that keep people that motivate you. Keep the people that inspire you. Islamic scholars, for example. Don't just go to any scholar. Because also we got highway robbery scholars. These scholars, they just connive. They pretend to be scholars, but they're not scholars. You must make sure that they behave well in public and private life. So then keep those friends. You know, they motivate you. Also, even doctors too. Do not keep friends that are gossipers or sinless. Never keep a friend that is evil. If you know that this type of friend that I am with, they are, the, that's an evil friend. Stay away from that friend. Because in the day of judgment, you say, Ya wailatani, la wailata, laitani, lam attakhidu fulanan khalila. On the day of judgment, you say, Ya wailata, laitani, lam attakhid fulanan khalila. Which means that you will say, oh, how would I have taken a friend, a path which is, a friend who is like this? So you must take a friend who is right. That friend who will show you the stratum sakim. Not a friend who will say, who will make you to say, لَقَدَ ذُلَّنِ أَنِ الذِّكْرِ بَعْدَ إِذْ جَاءَنِ وَكَانَ شَيْطَانُ لِلْإِنسَانِ خَذُولًا not a friend that will uh, send you to the wrong path. A friend that will send you to the path which is not good. Keep a friend that does not disappear. Keep a friend that appear when you have problems. Brothers and sisters in Islam, our lives are challenging these days. The more you keep a good friend, the more you have a good life. May Allah SWT, the Creator, help us every day to have a good friend. A friend that motivates you. A friend that inspires you. A friend that makes you to have a man. A friend that wakes you up for Fajr Salah. A friend that makes you to pray. To always be rejuvenated, even if life is hard. A friend that makes you to, to conquer all your life challenges. May Allah SWT keep us with good friends. وَآخِرُ دَعْوَانَا أَنِ الْحَمْدِ اللَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَلَمِينَ السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. هل سمعتم قصة تحكي مجدا بسماها أم رأيتم شعلة شق في الأفق ضياها هل سمعتم قصة تحكي مجدا بسماها أم رأيتم شعلة شق في الأفق ضياها هم نجوم سطروا أحلى المعاني وبروج شيدوا الهمة فاني